Hi everybody, I hope that you are all keeping safe and that you are keeping well. I hope that the efforts that we are all doing together as a community will mean that we will beat this together. The sense of community that I have seen over recent days and even the recent weeks has been truly inspirational. To see how volunteers are looking after not just their neighbours but the community around them to protect the most vulnerable by getting food, by looking to get prescriptions, to just make a phone call to a neighbour nearby who may feel lonely during these difficult times where we just have not got that face-to-face -face contact. It is truly heartwarming to see and long may it continue. I want to thank all of the key workers who are there looking after us and making sure that we still are able to, for example, put food on our table. So for those in the supermarkets who are making sure that we can access our groceries and that we can even get things such as toilet roll, I am very grateful to all of you. I have such um, gratitude for those working in our care industries and our NHS at this time. To be there on the front line, we all owe you um, that gratitude and it was heartwarming to hear in that clap for the NHS last Thursday just all the people out on my local street here in the district. It is heartwarming to see that we, you have all of us behind you. I promise that as council leader I would keep you up to date so that if I had any new information or I wanted to reiterate any information I would do you a little video from my home. So over recent days I've had lots of questions with regards to council tax. What I want to say is if you are having difficulty paying because of the crisis that we are in and all the um, difficulties that people are facing in these uncertain times, please call us. We are here to help you. What we do ask is please don't cancel your direct debit, but call us and go through your individual circumstances. And there are many options that we can go through with you to hopefully make life easier. We understand that times are difficult and we want to be here not just to listen, but to help. So please give our customer service team a call. I also understand that it's very difficult for businesses at this time. In these unprecedented times, we all need to work together. So us at the council have been working hard to ensure our local businesses get the help that they need during this crisis. We are looking to respond as quickly as we can so that we can implement the measures that the government have announced. So far, we've applied the 100% extended retail rates discount for the coming year, so for 2020 to 21, and we therefore have amended over 1,200 rate accounts, each one manually this week. This means that these eligible businesses will have no rates to pay during the 2020-21 year. If these businesses were due to have any rate payments collected um, by direct debit in April, these will now not be taken. We've uploaded a list of the properties that have been awarded the discount to the council tax um, tab on our website. So what I would advise you all to do is to go and look at the COVID section of the SWT website. That not only will give you advice on the community, but again with businesses, there is a se separate section that you can look at with regards to that advice and any further advice that we have coming as well as what the government is looking to do to help us all. We are working currently on another section of business rates, so we've also made arrangements to make the £10,000 and the £25,000 small business grant fund and retail hospitality and leisure grant fund payments. What we need to do in order to make that happen, the government have asked us that we will need to be provided with some basic information from businesses which you should have readily available to you. We are in the process of creating a simple online form so that we can capture that information and that should only take a couple of minutes to complete. We hopefully will release that this week um, so do keep an eye on our social media channels on our website where we will keep that up to date and we will also look to do any mailing as and when we can to make that advice easy for you to come by. There's so much changing and every day is something new for us to look, look at. However, what I would like to say is please take care of yourselves. Please take care of the community around you and follow the guidance that government is giving with regards to social distancing and when we're allowed out for exercise. I want you all to take care. Thank you.